Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 21st of April. My name's Philip Kingston. And I'm Darren Krongold. Yes, Doug, great to have you back on GPTV. Good to be back. I reckon you're back. right up there as my favourite anchors. Uh, while Gary is still away, and, uh, and let us just yes. say again, Gary's on yet another people. one of his holidays. We're the working people. Gary is uh, actually, as we speak, viewers, in Poland, doing a bit of a roots tour, March Very of the exciting. Living. Very and, good. Um, he's, uh, is it, is, you can't really say he's having a great time. No, it's but it's a great trip. experience. Great experience. Not the sort of trip that you'd have a great time, but a great experience. Yep. And anybody wants to know about March of the Living, perhaps you should send Gary a email or give him a call and he can give you the rundown. That's right. That's right. But we're not going to talk about much of the living because this is an upbeat show, Darren. <laughs> it's an upbeat show about real estate. And Darren has just reminded me off screen that we've been waffling on over the yes, last couple of weeks. So we what was your been. feedback? You said that the viewers mm. were not interested Too in much my of, life. No, they're not interested in hearing all, the, all about you. They want to hear more about real estate. Okay, so that, 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 that you've done the survey. You've spoken to yep. your brother-in-law. So And a bit of a shout out to you. <laughs> you've spoken to your brother-in-law. He was a bit uh, over last week's episode. Yeah, he didn't watch much of it. my new best friend, Jenna That's Reinhardt. Right. Thought I'd slip it in there again. <laughs> anyway, Dougs, let's talk about the week That's that right. was. And uh, it's a very quiet month, April. Yeah, it has been a quiet month. Right across Melbourne, viewers, not, not just at Gary Pure and Associates, but right across Melbourne, April is a very mm. quiet real estate month. And if you think about why, well, we've had ESA, we've had Passover, Passover. we've had the school holidays. And now, we've got this weekend coming up is the Anzac long, right. weekend, long weekend. Yes. So the reality is right across Melbourne has been interrupted by all of those things. That's uh, right. So it's a bit of a quiet month. Having said that, May is going May to be boomer. unbelievable. I know you don't want to talk about personal things, Darren, but there's a couple of things I want to talk to the viewers about. You're on your way to LA That's right. next week. Yeah, it's time for my holiday. And uh, whilst we're on the subject of you, Dougs, and Dougs is your um, nickname. That's right. Right For those viewers that only know you as Darren Congold, <laughs> mate, I am wrapped to think and know and hear that you've given up smoking. Yes, it's been a month from Friday last week, so it's very good. My family, everyone... How? You, everyone's happy. You've been so on your am I. Case for how many years have you been a smoker? Uh, Thirty-one years. Thirty-one years, and you were about a pack a day. Yeah, just a little bit under, but go so there, call go it a pack there, a day. There. So a bit of a shout out to Terry Popper, yep. who is your hypnotist, yes. who hypnotised you one session, one session, and got you to give up a pack a day habit yep. after thirty-one years with one session. Yep. So shout out to you, Terry. Hopefully it lasts because uh, we want the new improved healthier version of you. Thank you. And anybody who's looking to quit, let me know and I'll give you Terry's number. She's happy to help anyone out. So let's get back to real estate. A big weekend in Melbourne, Darren, with an 80% clearance rate. That's correct. Some standouts for the weekend. What yeah. were they for you? Uh, standout for the weekend where we had great open at this house where we are now in Kuyong Road. Well, let's talk about it. A bit of a segue to 20A Kuyong That's Road. Right. Tell us about this house on high on the Kuyong Road hill. Yeah, incredible home and the open for inspections, the uh, people coming through has just been big numbers and we're having really good feedback. People are loving the house when they walk into it. Um, and we're getting quite a few repeat inspections, so we're getting excited. Well, there's a lovely story to this, viewers, and we might put up the website so that you can actually have a look at the virtual tour and everything to do with this house, yep. because this house was filmed over 60 episodes, episodes that's right. for Channel 10, uh, a show called The Home Team, yep. which has just finished uh, the season for this that's property, right. uh, but uh, I'm not sure whether we're allowed to announce whether they've bought another property or not, so we won't announce whether they have or not, <laughs> and we won't announce whether the show is continuing. But well, we won't say great. Where it has what been. a great show <laughs> and the production company behind it have done the most oh, amazing incredible job. job. But what a house. Oh. Uh, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the entertaining oh. areas, the whole our fresco garden. It's the just incredible. The People are loving pool. it. The swimming pool. Underneath the house is a theatre room and a cellar is just to die for. This is the most stylized home I think I've ever seen. And it's interesting because we're here, uh, the, sh the, the home team for Channel 10, at the same time as we're the agents for one of the properties at the block. So we've got Channel 10 That's with right. the home team, we've got Channel 9 with the block. So how blessed are we that as an agency mm -hmm. we get houses like Absolutely. these? Absolutely. And a, and a big shout out to Julie Green, who was the interior designer here, which we sold her house we did. two years ago, I think it was, or sometime last year. Um, and she's done an incredible job and, it, and lots of people know her and have walked in here and commented on how amazing she has styled this house. So, and well also done. a special shout out to Rowan Appel, yes, who, who was the is architect. the architect here and what a great 
signature yep. he's got. In fact, he's one of Melbourne's best architects. Yep, he was one of the up and coming comers. He came uh, through the first week with his wife and family and and uh, just couldn't wait to see again how much work had been put into so it. So a special so. shout out to Rowan who has done the most unbelievable job here. We're very excited very. to auction this property. This goes to auction when? On Sunday the 3rd of May at 11.30. And it's going to be a very exciting auction. We've got quite a bit of interest in the property at the moment, haven't we? Yes, we have got lots of interest and uh, we look forward to the auction. And with the Anzac Day long weekend coming up, we only have two auctions this weekend. Yes. Uh, quiet weekend obviously because of the Anzac Day long weekend and no auctions on Saturday. But on Sunday we've got two fabulous properties, one at 1 at 35 Kuyong Road, Caulfield North uh, that goes to auction on Sunday at 11.30. This is a property you've been handling Darren, tell us about that. Yeah it's been a nice, it's been a good campaign at 1 at 35 Kuyong Road. It's on the corner of Beresford and Kuyong Road in North Caulfield. Just down the road from here. That's right, it's got a great floor plan, uh, big living room and dining, a separate kitchen, two good size bedrooms and uh, a separate bathroom and it's been well received so and we're I looking forward to it. I love the architecture of that building oh, down there. Classic 60s stroke 70s yep. architecture, big and bold That's and right. great floor plans. Uh, we also have the most incredible property going to auction at number 10 Briggs Street, Caulfield. Uh, that just Incredible. runs off Hawthorne Road, glass walking, house. walking distance to the shops and Einstein's Cafe and the Caulfield Junction. Four bedrooms, three and a half of the most glamorous bathrooms, double lock-up garage, glossy timber floors, the most stunning LA uh, swimming pool and back garden. That's a house that's built for entertaining. Uh, I'm in love with that house, Yeah, Darren. it's a great home and everyone calls it the glass house and uh, it's been received really well. Again, this, this house has had lots of, lots of people through the opens and repeats and we are looking forward to this auction too on uh, Anzac weekend. You know the definition of a really good house, Darren, is when you have an open for inspection and lots of people come. But the definition for me is when you look around and when people think you're not looking, they've all got their Apple iPhones out taking photos oh, of yeah. them, trying, trying not to look suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> that's the definition of a good house yes. when everybody coming through the opens that's is taking exactly photos right. of things. So that's Briggs Street. I'm looking forward to doing the auction on that. That's uh, auction this Sunday at 12.30. Let's talk, and we're completely out of order here. We have you noticed that? We can uh, see that. When I do this with Gary, he's very regimented. Uh, that uh, Austrian side of him likes to do everything <laughs> in a nice thought through manner. Yep. But we thought we'd, we'd we'll mix throw it up. it around. Are we going to do the auctions that, that the weekend that was? We had some uh, tremendous success across the weekend. Uh, interesting to note though, one of the best buyers, I reckon, was a property we passed in at 13 at 9 Hudson Street. Mm. Little one bedroom apartment there. Uh, that was passed in on the weekend. We have a reserve of $279,000. That's right. Um, at, at a good auction in Rosina Street in Bentley, which sold. Uh, undisclosed. We, we undisclosed price there, but we passed that in and, and negotiated shortly thereafter. Our Carnegie office, yes. absolutely flying, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, doing well. They had an auction at 1 at 26 Kurugal Road, Carnegie, which sold for 727000 They were on the market at seven hundred, and they say that it was a really good auction. Leo there, so Samuel great. and the team there just doing an amazing job. One at 7 Hudson Street, back to Hudson Street, little one bedroom with a courtyard sold for 381000 six bidders on that one. Which that makes the amazing. other one look like great value, doesn't it? I'm sure it? that will sell very quickly this week. I did an auction on the corner of St Kilda Road and Lawn Street. Uh, and we'll get that up on screen because there's a nice story there. Uh, we did sell that. That was sold for $750,000 against a quote of six sixty dollars to seven fifty. dollars But we sold that for a man that lived there until he, and lived there alone, so independently, uh, till he was 103. Wow. So just, um, and he was, uh, he was kind of the, the, the local identity in the building. Everybody Amazing. in the building loved him. But uh, What an innings. And, what a, and you know what, I, I said to the crowd, the owner lived here till 103 because every morning he got up to look at that incredible view and I reckon yeah. that would have just kept everybody happy. Um, Larch Street, uh, well done again to Lior Samuel, one Larch Street, um, Caulfield South. Uh, that's interesting, Darren, because that sold for $890,000. Great result. Not only is it a great result, but if you have a look at that property, viewers, that's amazing because that's really entry level yes. into the Caulfield South market. That's right. Uh, at almost $900,000, that's amazing. what you've got to pay to get. You know, it's a lovely little house, yeah, but it was sure. one of a pair on 300-odd sure. square metres of land. Uh, so that's amazing that that's what $900,000 buys you. Yep. On uh, Sunday, 
Uh, we had a sale before auction. Uh, Rafi Joffe sold three at 86 Grosvenor Street. Great uh, before result there. Yeah, that was a great result. We were quoting there 570 to $630,000. Price is undisclosed, but we did sell that property well in excess yep. of our quote range. Uh, one house that's still on the market, and I'm a bit shocked by this, but we now have the sharpest asking price, is number 209 North Road in Caulfield South, the most stunning mm. Metricon X display mm. home. And uh, Metricon are great builders, and this was one of their X display homes, which means it was absolutely pumped full of every conceivable luxury. Exactly. We passed that in on a bit of 1820. Mm -hmm. The buyer came up another 10,000 to 1,830. Right. We now have a very sharp reserve there of 1,995,000. Mm -hmm. Whilst we were passing properties in, which is unusual for us, Darren, yes, yes. Uh, we passed in 11B Rain Street, um, and that has an asking price now of 1215000 That's, right. That's got to be an absolute standout yep, buy, yep. because it's as new, and that property will not sit around the marketplace no, that won't be around for long. long. Darren, while you're on GPTV, I think it's fitting that we talk about the top end of yes. the market because that's where you tend to specialise. Mm -hmm. Even though you're selling that apartment down the road in Kuyong Road, in the fives, you'll handle anything. Absolutely. So let's talk about the top end because your team, which consists of Sally Zellman, yes. Daniel Fisher, yes. Judy Zhu, Adam Paykel, and ably assisted by Lisa Schillett, yep. and myself, and you. When, you yep. know, when, it's when, when, when it's called for, but your team handles more sales at the top end of the market than anybody in our area. Yep. You've had an amazing couple of months. Oh, I've been a big and, one. And I just want to talk about that because, you know, you've sold uh, houses in Lamia Road, mm -hmm. you've sold houses in Aruna Road, mm -hmm. you've sold houses in Airdrie Road. That's right. Uh, and you've had a run of selling properties in excess of $3 million. That's right. Tell us a couple of the standout sales for you. Airdrie Road was a great result and we got the asking price there and there was a beautiful block, a beautiful house on, a, you know, on North Facing and uh, that was a really exciting sale. Number 38, Lamia Road. I showed a client of mine that I work well, uh, closely with. I'm just going to interrupt you because we're going to flash up on screen a bit of drone footage launching this drone, which is now part of our top end advertising package. Yeah. But tell us about that because that didn't even that, that didn't even have an open for inspection. No, well, my database and Sally, my database, we work very closely with a lot of people at the top end and uh, weekly phone calls. I rang a guy and said, we've got an amazing house in Lamia Road. Yep. Come and have a look at it. I'm happy to get you in because we've just put the furniture in. Um, we showed him through it, him and his wife, and they just fell in love with it in a second. Uh, we showed, he, uh, we did two more appointments there, and uh, we sold it on the Friday night before, before the first Before the first open for inspection, so uh, there's one happy couple that have yeah. bought, a, bought a great house. But at the top end, that does happen a bit where your database, you're using your database and making sales either off-market, yeah. uh, and, and which makes me talk, uh, off-market transactions, we do a lot of those. Yes. Um, and your database, I think, is probably one of the best databases on the planet, not just in Melbourne. But you are able to kind of, you know, you, you're famous in our office for working with buyers for years, if mm. necessary, to find them the right house. Well, for years I've created my own my own way of you know, working so closely. It's weekly phone calls. I enjoy it. They enjoy hearing from me. It's not so much email. It's more just getting on the phone and speaking to them and describing the house. Um, they tell me what they're looking for and we show them as much as possible and I sort of get the sense from what they're looking for and, and I can knock it on the head. It's really exciting. Do you know, it's interesting and the viewers might be interested to know that um, Darren's off-market sale include showing a buyer properties for eight years before he finally <laughs> sold them a house in Howitt Road off-market. But you actually looked after that couple for eight years. That's right. Yes, absolutely. So, so for those of you that think real estate's an easy business about just putting up open for inspection signs no. and making quick sales, let me tell you, for every quick quick sale, there is a sale that's Absolutely. taken years in the make, particularly at the top end, Darren, because at the top end, houses don't trade very often, do they? No, it's, it's we wish we could have more, like we've got this amazing house at the moment in Corinna Crescent that just started on the weekend, and I wish we could have four or five of those homes because there'll be, we've got plenty of buyers for these homes. Um, we just don't have the supply, but we have a really strong demand. Strong demand at the top end, so viewers, if you've got a luxury top end property, please give Darren Krongold, Sally Zellman and the team a call because we may well be able to sell it without any fanfare of an auction, just nice right. and quietly. Darren, um, April is a quiet month in Melbourne, yes. but May is going to be huge. We're pretty excited about yeah, May. May's you'll, going to be a very busy you'll month. You'll come re back refreshed from a holiday. Yep. I've enjoyed having you here at number 20A Kuyong Road. We're looking forward to a successful result. Viewers, thanks again for watching. My name's Philip Kingston. I'm Darren Krongold. Have a great week.